Buddy. Sunday. Y'all know what time that means. Sunday conversation with Catfish. I hope everybody is doing well. Had a great weekend. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Let's see going to be first up in here tonight. I'm going to see. We gonna we gonna see who's gonna be first up in here tonight. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe everybody sleep. I don't know. I might be in here by myself. I don't know. <laughs> Woo. Yep, I'm like five minutes late. Ah. Hey, what up, I ask? Hey Joe. <laughs> AD, what up, man? We got a lot to talk about, man, from this past weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm five minutes late, but that's all right. Like I said, I hope everybody uh, had a great uh, weekend. Friday was terrible. It rained all day. Yeah. It rained all day Friday. I ain't putting no video up. Oh, you didn't get the notification? Well, refresh it then. Just click it out, click off the bell, and then click the bell again. I'm five minutes late anyway, but that's okay. But, yeah, sometimes you got to do that. Timothy Fisher, what up? Mm-hmm. Had a good time uh, this weekend. Was hanging out with my boy. I, I, hey, I was hanging out with TD this weekend, so... Ran into CJ. We we'll get into the meat and bones of that in a in a little while when some more people get up in there. But yeah. Hey Dijon, yeah man. Yeah, I talked to him. I'm on it. I'm actually on his video. Hey IS. I'm actually on CJ's uh, latest video. Cause when you come up the escalator, I had a prime spot. I was right there. So yeah. So you know, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just hanging in there. Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Uh, looking forward to another week. Got a lot of stuff to do, you know. Um, That's all. Uh, the video from the Tuna Galleria is dropping Wednesday. And the video from the... World of Wheels will be dropping Friday, guys. That's just a, you know, a update. And y'all know I filmed the whole show with nobody in there. Video is like 30 minutes long. I got every car in the building. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but they say downstairs was nuts. See, I filmed it Friday, guys. The first, if you ever want to go to the World of Wheels, go on the first day because there's nobody there. I'm telling you, if you can if you can get there on a Friday, you will get to see everything. Hey, Michelle, I filmed the downstairs, most of it. I didn't get it all because it was so much. They put probably extra 100 cars in there this year from what they did last year. Oh, okay, IS. Now, I, I think my video from World of Wheels is 48 minutes. Or, oh, no, I had to edit something. It's probably about 38 minutes. I'm t I, I try to do, y'all know, I, my videos, I try to make my videos. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I try to make my videos between 30 to 45 minutes. Or 50 minutes at the longest. There's really something going on. I don't Because y'all get bored. No, I didn't win nothing, Joe. I, you know what, guys? I'm going to tell you. The same guy that won Best Benz last year. And I know he's a good friend of mine. He won this year. 
He remixed the whole car. You know what I'm saying? He got a beautiful, you'll see the car more, a beautiful car. But this, guys, it's nothing I can do to my car. I got an all, I, I own an all original car, so it's nothing I can do. I could change the wheels, but then, you know, I could put, but you know, I'm not even going there, man. I, car got a lot, car got a lot of love, though. A lot of love. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, yeah, but he put the carbon fiber hood on, color matched it, and just left, you know, yay, that's my guy. I've been knowing him for about four years now. Oh, oh, I asked, hey, you know what? If they would give a class for OG, then I'd win every year. But, you know, then I wouldn't want to do that either. Guys, I got two trophies from that prestigious show. If I never win another one, I'm still going to go put my car in every year so people can see. One guy, let me tell you, these two young kids came up to me and they said, we have never seen a, a, a old school AMG in person. <laughs> I said, you never seen a, uh, hey, TD, I said, you never seen a Cosworth AMG? They said, nope. I said, you ever seen an Evo? They said, nope. They say this is the first one that we've ever seen in person. That made me feel good. You know, hey, I, I was just sitting there chilling. You know, I had a great spot. Right when you come up to Escalade, my car was the first car you see. I mean, you know, I had a good spot. Good fun, met a lot of new people, drummed up a little business for later on, you know, and uh, got a good video. I got two good videos. So, you know, yeah, I snuck in. Y'all see the video. I snuck in again before the show and got every car in there in 31 minutes. Just a quick overview. Y'all will see it on Wednesday. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh yeah, that was my AIS. That's my friend I met. She had now her, she won best female. Low Lola the five hundred Fiat. Yeah, hey, she won best female. That car, man, it was so many little young girls coming up and older girls taking pictures in front of that car. It was like the she had the Barbie theme going. I ain't lying. She she. That car, that car got a lot of attention, and I was happy for it. And I told her it was so funny. I told her what well, I was talking to her before her husband got there, and I said this car gonna win best female. She didn't believe me, so uh, I I DM'd her and told her I told you so. It was so funny, but she's such a, a sweetheart, and her husband they got four cars between them, so they she's a car girl, he a car guy. So you know it was a lot of fun just hanging out with them. You know, talking and stuff, but yeah. Yep. 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 So you know, it was a it was a a good weekend. You know, I stayed down there. I I uh I ain't come back home. I got me a room for the night, you know. So I went to do no drive all the way home, get up, you know, have somebody come pick me. Man. So but um like I said, old girl got a lot of love, man. A lot of love. I was I was surprised. But then I got to meet some new people. It was a guy behind me in a in a CRV. He was real cool. It was his first show. He had just got the car. The old OG C, uh, CRV. It was actually two of them there, and they both in the same club. But I got to I got to hang out with 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 and talk to him. Hey, I asked. I couldn't go to ten o'clock. I think I got home at eleven. Mm. Hey, the roll, if you want to see the rollout, the rollout is on. I know you'd like to get your own video. The rollout is on the uh, uh, Tuna Galleria IG. I saw me when I rolled out. I got a, it, a little snippet, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, the video that I shot of the RC car track, I was kind of flattered. Um, um, Tuna Galleria IG reposted it on they on their channel. I thought that was kind of cool. 
It's just about a minute long, minute, a minute and one seconds long. It's on my IG. It was kind of cool. But like I said, all access, guys. You know how we you know how we get do around here, man. Always. I oh they everybody show me a lot of love, man. They always do. I'm I, I'm loving it though, you know. It might be my personality or whatever, but yeah. You know the hey the uh the ushers gave me a little grief. I didn't put them on camera though, so I had to do what I y'all see when y'all see the video, y'all see how I maneuvered that. Hey, I asked. I took old girl up in them numbers on the way home, bro, a couple of times. I'm not going to quote the numbers. Well, we going to, we, y'all just say, when I say up in the numbers, I was up in the numbers twice. Because dude with the white one, man, was on the highway with me at the same time. I asked. He ran out of my life so fast it made my head swim. <laughs> but that car is wickedly fast. He was out of there. He pulled up on me. I knew it was him. And, you know, I was just cruising. And, man, that dude said, pew! And I ain't even see him no more. I ain't even see the tail lights. But, like I said, I don't I don't get out there on the highway acting. The, uh, the guy with the white bands that won, his name is Andrew. I can't even remember his name. But, we was, my first stop was the Shell Station, guys. You know that. It's on I posted that on my IG too. Hey, first stop and, uh was the shell station. It was packed too. Cause it's right down, it's a mile, probably a mile and a half down the road. Everybody had stopped and put some gas in their car. Hey Angela. Yeah. So I got a couple pictures on my IG of that, you know. But yeah. I got some more stuff to tell y'all later on. I had a ball though. I really miss 75 had five cars in there. Y'all will see him on the video. He had Legend in there. I got a chance, guys, I got a chance to see Takashi for the first time in person. His Corvette. Nice. It's really nice. Then he had the raffle car in there, the white box, then that blue box, and then it was a red uh, a pickup truck. I think it was a... Uh, I don't know. It was a pickup truck in there, so yeah, he was selling. He was selling his merch and stuff. It was it was cool. I hollered at him, you know. But man, it was uh one two three. It was four NSXs in there. It was a green one. I don't know if I got it on video. No, I didn't get it on video because when I shot the video, it was covered up. Y'all will see that in the video, too. But I found out that was the green one. It was a lime green one. Y'all will probably see it on somebody else, but nasty. But when I shot the video, it was before the show opened. So I, that's the only car that, that y'all will see, but you won't see. But the guy that won the, the uh, NSX that I met last year, yeah, the green one. Yeah, yeah, TD, it was covered up when I shot my video. But... The guy that won the NSX for $75, he was there. I pointed that out in my video. So, and then, y'all know the Chicago Bulls DJ that DJs the shows, he has a white one. And he put white rims on it. It had black rims on it. He, had, he put white rims on it overnight. So, when y'all see it in the video, it had white rim matching white. It looked good, too. I like it. Mm-hmm. So he did, he has an NSX. Mm. And then it was a black one in there too. Bay support group, what up? Yeah. So yeah. It was like I said, it was a lot of fun. You know. I didn't even have to guys actually when I my roll in time was twelve noon on Friday. When I got there, it was probably already thirty cars, you know, in front of me. Because them them idiots start lining up at ten o'clock. They should have waited at least to like eleven thirty or something. You know what I'm saying? They was all out on the street. So what they did, they got them off the main, the busy street onto the parking lot on the side of the ramp before you go up. So I was only in traffic about um about an hour, about man about yeah about fifty minutes. 
And I actually had more gas this year than I did last year. Because last year, while I was waiting, I had to keep cutting my car. I had to cut my car. Plus, it was damp and raining. So, yep. If you go to my IG, you'll see a little video that I shot. Y'all yeah, will never see, probably never see an old girl with, with, with water on her. You know, she's ceramic coated. So, them beads, them water beads was tight, boy. They, them water beads was, was like that. You know what I'm saying? So I shot a little video right before I went up the ramp. So it's on my Instagram. And it's also on my TikTok. Catfish uh, tick on my TikTok too. So if y'all want to check that out. But I, like I said, I, I did a little document. It was fun. Met some new people. People that had uh, only been there. Yeah, I saw There's a lot of cars. I... I I walked around downstairs for a while. I didn't film everything. I, You know what? I, guys, I'm going to be honest. I got a 38-minute video. I filmed a lot of stuff. But it was, this year they say was the biggest year because they had cars tucked back in the nooks and crannies. And they usually don't do that at the uh, World of Wheels. But video short, I'm, I think it's about, I think it's probably about 38 minutes long. I got some good stuff. Like Ken Diggett had that had that that customized fifty three Corvette there. Oh my God, that thing is nasty. I miss the cars downstairs and a lot of the bikes. I didn't even film the bikes. They said it was probably uh, uh over hundred bikes there, seventy five two hundred bikes. Cause I met a guy that had he came up by the car and he, I asked him what he had there. He said he got a motorcycle. So he said it, it was 75 to 100 motorcycles. But I ain't even filming. So, I, like I say, when you go to these shows, guys, you can't film everything. I just got y'all some good stuff. The, the five generations of Batmobiles was really cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw them on CJ video too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, that orange Corvette is nasty. If y'all go back and look at my video from last year, he let me climb all in the car that thing, man. That Corvette is nasty with the two sh with the two nitrous bottles in the in the tr in the front trunk. Mm hmm. But it was a lot of interesting cars, a lot of different cars from last year, you know. But like I said, I just go to let everybody see what an old a 31-year-old driven Mercedes AMG looks like with everything original. That's all I go for. And like I said, I'm not a trophy chaser. Ain't none of that. Like I said, if I never, ever win again, I got two that they can't take from me. And it was a top category both times. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't worried about it. But a couple of old German guys came over. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I asked, I seen that. Hey, uh, it was a couple of German guys came over. Uh, they were from, you know, across the water. They were old German guys. They said, man, this thing is so beautiful, blah, 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 blah. We chopped it up a little bit. He said, I got a, he said, I got a uh, 300, which is the bigger body. Yeah, so, like I say, man, it yeah, I had a good time. Had my chair out, you know, just chilling. Sitting behind the car, talking to people and stuff, you know. And like I said, um, CJ came by. Marty Mart and uh, Tunchi. I got a chance to see Big Boots. I ain't seen Big Boots in a minute. He was out too, so. Uh, Chicago Car Guy was there. Swole came through. Everybody, everybody came through, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, you know how that goes. I mean, I was just enjoying the moment, man. And plus, I had a real good spot, too. Probably never parked there again because it gets too congested right by that corner. But it was, it was good. It was good. It was good. I, I, I like I said, I was tired because the show started at, noon and went till 10 well probably 9 15 they started doing the uh awards
because they wanted you out of there by ten. But it was all it was all in all. It was it was fun. It's fun every year. I look forward to that show because that's the first show of the of the year. Oh guys, I don't think I got it on camp. Oh did I? yeah, I did. It was a, a S a S R T. What is that truck? What was that truck? It was green. Um, shoot, you don't even see him. He won. He won an award too. It's a old school, but it's a SRT little bit uh, caliber. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, that that I ain't seen when he had it. He had it on bags, uh, uh, wide body, and it was a manual. Him and his son, man. Coolest thing. Got one of the coolest little cars. That's why I said Caliber TD. I had to think about it for a second. He won an award, too. It's his first show, man, because he came in late because he was on standby. I think I got on the, I got it on my video because he was just getting in when I started filming. And then another um, CRV came in late um, while I was filming. And there was a couple guys in there, you know, working on their cars and stuff. Y'all will see all that on the video. But that Caliber... I ain't seen an SRT caliber in a, in a very long time. And it was clean. Engine was done and everything. You don't see them. Yeah, but that's something to look forward to. It was it was clean, too. So, But it was so much stuff there, man. You know, it was a mixture of everything. Oh, yeah, I know, TD. He came and talked to me right before I met you-know-who. I'm going to talk about that in a little while. In the next 45 minutes. Y'all will never guess who I met. Who I who I actually met and took a picture with and talked to. Y'all going to trip. But I'll let you, I tell you that a little later on. But everybody's trying to get me to get my put my SLS on the on the drifting track. Man, I said, man, them dudes ain't going to tell, tell my, my remote control car. Heck no. No. But that track was cool though. They they was in there real early when I was in there, uh, getting it together, man. That's one of the highlights of the show too. So it was in the back, right behind me. But they were doing a lot of drifting. It was it looked like it was a lot of fun. But I ain't I ain't messing with my car like that, man. I'm 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 gonna preserve my car. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got posted mine. I posted a um um a one minute video, and yeah, it's in my car. I got a, a SLS, Goldwing, black. Mhm. Mm I got one. I took it out a little while, for a little while, just moved it around a little bit, but I wasn't going over there. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I know you saw it. Yeah, I, I wasn't going over there, though. They ain't, ain't going to tell my stuff. But I, I had ran it earlier, and this dude had ran here. I ran it down through there a couple of times, just messing around. But like I say, man, it was it was, it was was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I look forward to that show every year because they such cool people, man. The guy that, one of the guys that started it, one of the, uh, uh, this guy got a real cool Lexus OG. If you go look in my last couple years videos, you'll see it. He gave up my award for 15 years. This is the 15th anniversary of the Tuna Galleria. And you know, they do Chicago. They do, uh, they take it around the country. Because this is the first year that they specified on the trophies, Tuna Galleria, Chicago. Hey, Lefty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they do, I don't know, they take it all over the country, though. They go to like five or six different places. Because they always send me an invitation if I want to go. Because I've been going since uh, 2017, 2018. 2017 was my first one. Mm hmm. So, you know. Yep, they they take it on the road, but this this year I saw one um the young lady that was next to me in the in the five hundred Fiat, her said Chicago Tuna Galleria Chicago, uh, best female ride. That's what she won. 
But guys, I wish I could have filmed it, man. It was so many people just coming up, taking pictures in front of the car, little little girls, you know. Oh yeah, them, hey, Ace had Ace had a couple of things up there. It was over there with Mister Seventy Five. Then when I got up there, it was a culling in there. It was a bunch of stuff that wasn't there, you know, because they kicked everybody out. You had from noon to six thirty to get your uh, car together. Guys, it didn't take me but 35 minutes to wipe mine off. Yeah, I know, TD. Hey, because, you know, the, the whole car ceramic coated, the wheel ceramic coated. So I went on and did what I had to do, knocked old girl out. Then I went walking around looking, you know, beforehand. Then, like I said, I came in uh, two hours early and... Uh, and uh, film the whole show. I got every car that's in there. With a quickness. It didn't even take that long. It's going to be a quick video. I think the video is 31 minutes long. It's not even long. And it's just... It's some narrative. You know, I did a little bit on certain cars that I knew about. Because on Friday, you get to talk to the people who own the cars. And they tell you a little bit about the cars. So, you know... Some cars that I had talked to the owners, I told y'all about. Then I was just going through, you know, this is this, 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 you know, blah, 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 blah. It's a quick, straight to the point, you know, video. So I have like, excuse me, like I said, I had, I had a ball. I was just kicking it, man, just having fun. Oh yeah, I wore my, I wore my new shirt too, man. My, uh, I showed y'all. This is the shirt I had on yesterday. My Lewis Hamilton. Yep. Had my Lewis Hamilton shirt on. So I debuted it yesterday. So. Got a lot of love for the shirt too. A lot of people mad too. That, that why is he doing that? Got to be the money, man. You going to team up with your, with your arch enemy. Yeah, I saw it. I saw I saw almost everything. Then Playboy and them had their own little section back in the booth, in the back in the corner in the dark, as they as they used to say. They was back there kicking it, man. Hey, uh, Bama boys, Ghostin, what's up? Yeah, so yeah, they they was they was back there. Uh, Playboy won a trophy too, and that was his first time putting it putting that putting the box in. Uh, I forgot the name of the box, but. Yeah, he won. He won some too. It was low riders. My favorite car, what in the tuner Galleria? Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's a hard one. You know what? I'm gonna tell you. Y'all may think this crazy. I like that caliber. I think that caliber for me was my favorite car. I'm gonna give you three reasons. First of all, one, you don't see them. If you do, they they won't be the SRT version. So, dude got a rare car that you don't see, and he had it hooked up nice. And like I say, I've seen them before, but you never see the SRT version. It was even the SRT version. SRT was embroidered in the seats. It was a real SRT caliber. We had the engine done and everything, man. I, I think... That was my favorite car because of it being so rare. There's a lot of nice Toyotas. You see those, you know, and it was like, I'm going to say three or four right-hand drive Fair Lady Zs up in there. This is one of your young kid. He come to all the shows. He had a red one. I talked to him. Hey, you can't handle the truth. What's up, beautiful? Uh, uh, yeah, that Jeep was nice, too. But, um... That that in um in the world of wheels, my favorite car was the Ken Diggett fifty three, and my buddy's uh thirty four uh coupe, the blue and white one. Those are my two favorite cars. So I got two favorites in the world of wheels, which was the I forgot the name of it, the Ken Diggett um fifty three Corvette, and then the um. The, the blue and white 
34 coupe. Oh, also I got three. My boy, my boy got that 1955 Cadillac two dope. Yeah, that Cadillac the same age as me. Clean, 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 clean. Still, he had two cars. Stitch. He had two cars in there. The Challenger, I like the Challenger too. Yeah, the Challenger was at SEMA. Who's vet? Can they get one? It was right there when you come in the door. It's the red one. It won the Riddler Award uh, at the Autorama last weekend. And they everybody didn't think they was going to bring it to Chicago, but they did. Mm-hmm. That thing nasty, man. Oh, if you got to you got to really walk around it slow and 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 just check in, uh, check out all the all the all the all the coot the kudos of the bills, like the gla the front windshield, how it's tucked, and it's probably it's probably Lexan too. It's probably Lexan, but that boy was nasty. I know the price tag on it, but I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say on here. It was up there. Yeah, yeah, and that was like a two and a half year build. Yep. No, it was a red one. Right when you come down the steps, the first thing, the Riddler Award goes to the best constructed um, car at that show, the craftsmanship. You know what I'm saying? That then you get. I forgot how much money goes along. It's a nice little, a nice little check that's uh, that's um, that's awarded to you also. Mm hmm. Yep. The top ten, the top ten bills at the, at the, at the, uh, at the, at the Motorama. Then they will real, they whittle it down to number one. And you, I, I forgot how much money it is. It's a nice little piece of change, too. So, yeah. Yeah, only at the Detroit Autorama. But they made top 10 in Chicago yesterday. Yeah, they have, it's a different kind of thing. But they made top 10. You know what it was? They made top 10, you know, in uh yesterday. But. The real award, I, I, if you Google it, it'll tell you how much money you get when you win. It's a very, it's one of the most prestigious awards in the uh, car building field. Yes, yeah, so I, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's the Oscar. You right, left. It's it's like an Oscar. Yep, yeah. it's the top. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Because one man stunning all that went. I think that was in 18 or 19. This uh, Camaro one. If you go back and look at my video, it's uh, it was a uh, 67 Camaro. That thing was so nasty. Oh my God, it was that that thing was crazy, and it won the real award that year. They give it out every year at the uh, at the at the Rama. Yeah, we went. It was a bunch of us went. The video, you know, still in my library. And Stunner had the Hellcat, Yellcat did. So that was probably, I want to say, 18 or 19. Yeah. So we, I, I was, I, I drove Beauty, me and Pimpin. And then Ace went, uh, Stunner went. Um, there's a bunch of us. We drove down there. And it's only at the, uh, at the Autorama in Detroit. We have been we been in the last five years, man. I didn't get a lot of traveling, boy. We did, you know. But I was in there basically. None of the crew came because you know Sean's foot messed up. But guys, it was a a, a go far in there, boy. Sean Sean came through. Hey, y'all wait till y'all see this one. Nasty. Y'all see it on the video. Mm-hmm. Uh. Cooley B. Cooling was there yesterday. It was a bunch of people that came through. Mel's World uh, that came through yesterday. Then, you know, CJ and the crew. So, you know, it was it was a, a fun time. It's good to see CJ get out, out and about, man, you know. 
but uh, Off Road Al was there. You know, there was it was it was it was a a fun a fun event. Uh, you got a sheet. That's in the car. I could I I should have read it up. I should have brought it in. Mine's still in the car. They have you fill it out with all the mods that's done to your car. You know. And then they go by cleanliness too. You know, they check my whole car out, check under the hood. My under the hood, my under the hood, my car, you can eat off of it. But the thing is, my car is not really modded. You know, they sort of go by that too. You know, for like the tuner part of it. Because there was a guy there with a matte finish, newer uh, CLS bins. It's nasty. With the matte gray paint. And he didn't win. But, you know, like I said, my boy changed the whole car around. I wasn't mad at him. I, I did this. So he's such a cool young kid. You know, he got, he got a beautiful car. But he remixed the whole car from last year. And he won last year. And he still remixed the whole car. But, you know, hey... Like I said, my car is like the OG, you know. It's nothing. I can't. I can't make no modifications to it. I'm not going to, you know. I'm not supposed to. So you know, I, like I said, I might put a different set of wheels on it. If I do, I'll let you know. Not the ones I showed you. I might go in a different direction. Cause you know, when you go to them shows, you meet people that do things and you chop it up and run stuff by them and all that. But this one, I'm keeping under my hat. If I do it. But if I do it, it's gonna change the game. That's all I'm gonna tell you. But it's that's just in the planning phases right now. I got to go sit down and talk to them, you know, and all that. No, I'm not putting no BBSs on old girl. No, sir. No. Because they didn't come with the car from the factory. That was an add-on afterwards. I like them, but I'm not. I'm, a, I'm going in a different direction, Lefty. If I can pull this off, all I'm going to say is if I can pull this off, y'all going to be like, like what our city used to do, make you want to go, hmm, yeah. It's going to change the game. That's all I'm going to say. I'm Like I said, I, may, I ran into somebody that was there. We chopped it up for a minute, and I ran it by them. And, uh, all right, TD. And uh, it's a possibility. So I got to maybe next week I got to go sit down and, you know, crunch numbers and see how much it's going to cost me. So we'll see. But if I do it, y'all ain't going to understand it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. going to be a game changer. But we'll see. We'll see. But I got a lot of stuff uh, coming up. And for you guys that don't know, mark this down on your on your, on your chair. 24s, no. I couldn't even put 24s on that car. No wheel well. Hey, for you guys... I'm giving you, write this down. Today is uh, what? March 10th. Today is the 100th, 180th consecutive live on my channel. That's a milestone, guys. I'm coming up on 200 consecutive lives. Today is number 180. And when I when I started this, man, I never thought that it would get to this level, man. Today one number 180. So, like I said, but y'all the one that make it possible. 180, I asked. Y'all, but I keep telling you, y'all the ones that make this possible. If it wasn't for y'all, it wouldn't even, you know, it wouldn't even, it, it's a success because of you guys. And I'll never forget that. Never, I never ever will forget y'all. Y'all are like the blood that that makes the body work. You know, if you ain't got no blood in your body, you ain't gonna survive. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, number one eighty today. That's a lot. It's a lot of hey. It's a lot of it's a lot of TV programs on making two hundred episodes, fifty episodes. They get canceled. So come on, man.
But like I said before, I'm blessed because of uh, you guys. That y'all's the ones take time out of your dog on Sunday doing football season, basketball season, soccer season, uh, what else? Baseball season, uh, whatever. Y'all the ones that take our time. Thanks, Lefty. Y'all the ones that take our time from your schedule to coming in and, and holler. You know, we talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the ones that do that. And, you know, the Oscars are on now. They actually came on an hour early. They usually come on at 7. They came on at 6. For you guys that don't know, they on. But I'm, you know, I'm not really a, you know, an Oscar person. But, you know, like I said, y'all take out time out of y'all busy schedules. And sometimes y'all be multitasking. Oh, hey, Monster Gaming, what's up? Uh, ba, 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 ba. hmm, what's a good wax? You got light swirls? Use, um, turtle wax makes a white polishing compound. Yep, a white polishing compound. Turtle wax makes it. It's a green and white case and a tin about like this. Use that. That'll, that'll, that'll take care of what you got to take care of. It's, 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 um, I want to say medium strength. That'll do it. Medium strength will work real good. Yep. Just go to any auto parts store and get it. It's uh, it's in a. Matter of fact, I tell you what, I pull it up. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I will pull it up for you. Uh, I'll try. Let me see. Can I pull it up? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Turtle wax. I actually let you see it. I'll actually let you see it. Oh, matter of fact, they got it. They actually got it in a bottle now. Let me see if I, they still got it. Yeah, here it is right here. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. I got to turn the volume on. I mean, the brightness on this thing down so you can see it. Got to turn the brightness down. If y'all don't, y'all won't be able to see it. Uh, eBay got it for like 11 bucks. Can y'all see that? There you go right there. See it? It says light, light duty. It says light to medium uh, cleaner. It says... Uh, restores lightly colored faded finishes to a light new appearance. Yeah, that's it right there. That's y'all tip for the day. But I'm gonna show you something else. They got it. They got some. They got a. Uh, hey, oh matter of fact, hey guy, hey, hey monster. They got on eBay. They got a. Four pack for thirty bucks, but you don't need that much. Yeah, they got uh, ten dollars. They got one nineteen ninety five. Yeah, but that's that's what I would use. So yeah, that's it right there. You can get it at uh, Myers, uh, AutoZone. Oh, thanks. You can have a truth saying hi to everybody. Yeah, that'll work. If you have to use a uh, like an orbital buffer or something, you know that's cool. Or you could probably, if you want to buff it, do it. You, you just use an orbital buffer or something. You know, just put a little bit. Or what I would do, I'm gonna tell you what I would do. If if you're not really familiar with a buffer, just an orbital buffer. You know, um, take the compound wherever whatever surface that you want to do. 
take it, take the compound and put and cover the whole surface. Like if it's the hood, cover the whole hood. And then buff it off. So that's why I would do it. I would cover the whole the whole section and then buff it off. Cause it's it's, it's got a, a light abrasive. If it'll do, it'll it'll clean that boy up like nobody's business, man. If you just got some light swirls and stuff. That's easy, that's easy peasy there. That's that's nothing. So that's that's an easy fix. So what you love about AT and T, Michelle? So yeah, that's that's an easy one. So I got a couple couple of guys that I was talking to. Um, the guy with the matte paint bins, he want me to ceramic coat his car. I told him call me and I'm gonna I'm gonna get that for you. His other 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 couple of people was asking me about stuff, so I gave him a card and told him to call me if they wanted to see my work go on my. YouTube channel or either my Instagram page, they can see what kind of work I do. So, you know, just like these shows now, guys. Back in the day, when you go to a show, you used to have to send pictures of your car. You know, or oh, more than you need to, but you used to have to send pictures. You don't have to no more. You got to do a send them your social media because y'all know old girl is all over my Instagram. So, that's that. I mean, that's kind of good now. You don't have to take because you used to have to take a picture of the outside of the car, a picture of the engine compartment, and a picture of the interior. When I first started going back in 17, 18, that's what you had to do. But now you just send them a link to your uh, social media, they can see all they want to see. But guys, I'm gonna be there every year until I can't, I won't be able to go no more because they know me. You know, and they know what kind of car I got. And my car, y'all know my car can fit in any kind of show. Supercar show, old school show, you know. Alvin, what up? You know what I'm saying? So I'm always going to be there. And like I said before, if I never, ever win another trophy from there, I don't care. Because I, cause I won two big boys. You know what I'm saying? So, I just like going and hanging out and seeing what other people are doing and, you know, and just meeting people. You know, I am. I'm a people person. I like meeting people and talking to them, seeing what they up to, you know, seeing what kind of cars they got and all that. So, but I sat down a lot yesterday. I got me a good night's sleep, but I just sat down by the car because, you know, just chilling. You know. Oh, actually, guys, my mechanic came through, too. Shout out to Tom from One Stop Muffler and Break. He came through and hung out with me for about 15 minutes, bought me something to drink. Guys, if you're in the Chicagoland area and you need any basic, you know, mufflers, brakes, custom exhaust. Uh, motor mounts, axles, uh, shocks, struts, all that stuff, man. Uh, listen, holla at my people at One Stop Muffling Break. They're on the corner of Chicago Avenue and Todd Street in East Chicago, Indiana. Hit them up at area code 219-398-6767. Ask for Emery or Tom. Tell them Catfish sent you and they'll get you together. Hey, call them up. I just gave y'all the number. Call them at the shop. They there Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. They got business hours. Closed on Saturday and Sunday. Yep. And Tom's such a cool dude. I almost didn't recognize him because I'm used to seeing him in his work class. <laughs> and he was standing right. I said, man, I know that dude. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, he hung out. He hung out with us for a little while. Then he went and, you know, walked around. He got a he got a he got a bad ride too, but I'm I'm not uh 
I haven't been uh what I say I can't tell you what it is. But it, it's a bad it's a bad fella. That's all I'm gonna say. But uh yeah, he came through. Oh, he cool, T tell you, I told you, man. They doing their thing over there, man. Everybody come get custom exhaust or muffler deletes. That's a big, but they do, like I said, they do the basic stuff. You know, they don't do engine diagnostics. They don't do electrical. They don't do AC, but they do everything else. Oh, they don't do alignments either. Hey, New York, what up? Hey, Fred. They, that, you know, they do what they do. They experts at what they do. And, I mean, people get mad when they tell them stuff that they want them to do that they won't do. Yeah. What up, New York? Yeah, so, you know, but one-stop shop, though, they, like I say, they do the basic stuff. They do alternators, starters, brakes. Custom exhaust. I mean, when I say custom, I mean custom bend and everything. Y'all seen some of my videos. They got a pipe bend and all that. They do muffler deletes, you know, shocks, all that, you know, basic stuff. So, you know, they, man, they good at what they do. So, you know, they, you know, I got a, I got a custom exhaust on beauty, my infinity. And I got a custom exhaust that Tom made just for old girl. And a lot of people, when they hear my car, they think it's a, a, a eight cylinder V8 in it, but it's not. It's a straight six, three liter. But you know that's the that's the uh, the beauty of his work. Yeah. So you know, and people come from all over Chicago, uh, sub suburbs. Like I told y'all several times, this one dude came all the way from. Uh, Michigan twice to get his Audi done. Ninety three ten. I asked, call him on the phone. One more. No, I ain't no third party man. I just gave you the number. I'm gonna give you the number one more time. The number is area code two one nine three nine eight sixty seven sixty seven. They open from eight in the morning. Till 5 p.m. So just call him in the morning. You you met him. So call him in the morning and see what the price is. I asked, if you want to get your own part, they wanted a few people that will put on your own part. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Just call me. You gotta call me. Then I have to just hit me on hit me on the I, oh you'll install it. Okay. Well, you got to call me, man, and uh, I'll get the part for you. There ain't no problem. Just, uh, you know, take care of me on it. You know, give me a little something-something, and I got I got you. What was that? Idler Pulley for a, what is that? 93 Riviera. What engine? What engine, I asked. Got to give me the engine. I think they had more than one engine in the Riviera in 93. Okay, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. That's all you got to do. Oh, there go my little big bro. Yep. Hey, Swole, you missed it, man. You left too soon. Oh, 3,800? Okay. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, let y'all, uh, Yep, guys, I'm sitting, me and TD, standing up by my car. And, uh, you know, the track was right behind us. So, TD says, ain't that Dave Kendig right there? Ah, <laughs> yeah, check this out. This, uh, Guys, this is how I always say Car people can talk to car people, okay? He walked by, okay? So I told TD, hey, man, 
it was a vehicle that I debuted on my Instagram page. In 2022, I debuted it. It was the first time it had ever been filmed or anything. And I saw it on 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 the show on the TV show right I pulled the video up he had walked down a little further I caught up with him I said excuse me Dave because I I went over and shook their hand when they first went they kept walking I pulled the video up right so I walked they was walking they was right over there by the Rahana section I said Dave can I show you something right quick I can't make this up, guys. He said, yeah, I showed him the video. He said, where did you where did you get that video from? I said, I shot it at a car show. The car had debuted, and I saw it on an episode of your show. He said, yeah. He said, that car, I was in uh, Tennessee. At a car show, and he had the exact truck that I shot. And <laughs> yeah, I can't make this up, man. It was a trip. And he said, because when I, he said, I'm telling you, he said, where did you? And I told him, the guy lives local here. And I shot, and I, I was the first one to put it on camera. And I said, can I take a picture? So that's how we, and he, and so he, he actually took the picture. And I posted it. But that's how car people is, man. He 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 immediately knew what the truck was. The truck is outstanding, guys. I'm telling you. Outstanding. Twin turbo. I forgot the name of the truck. But it, it's green. It's green. It wasn't at the show. I, I, I filmed it in Crestwood in, in 2022. Let me see. Can I find it? I filmed it in Crestwood at a car show. The guy had just got done with it because he told me. And I asked him, can I do a reel on it? He said, yeah, that reel got 500 likes, guys. It's still on my it's still on my Instagram right now to this day. Let me see. Can I find it? That's how, that's how we interacted to get the picture. Oh, guys, guess who liked it today? Kev Dog. Can't make that up either. I'm going to see, can I go on my Instagram and, and show y'all? Yeah, Kev Dog liked it today. I, I tagged him in it. I tagged uh, Ken Diggit in it. I tagged the Tuna Gallery in it. So, so yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, it's on my Instagram right now. That's how the picture came that's how the picture came about, guys. I'm gonna see. Can I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up that video. Oh man, the truck is outstanding, bro. I forgot the name of it. I'll tell you in a minute. Let me see. Can I pull it up? But that's how I got. That's how that picture came about. It's, I mean, it's still on my Instagram, and like I said, I the truck is outstanding. So. I'm gonna try to find it and show it to you guys. And I'll tell you the name of it too. It's a it's a it's an OG truck, but it's twin turbo, it's all custom. Hmm, let me see, can I find it? I'm looking at my IG right now. But I showed it to him, he knew exactly what it was. And like I told him, I saw it. When I saw it on the TV show, I said, Oh my god, I, I got that, I got I got that truck. Hmm. Where is it at? Wow, it got to be right there. Let me see. Hmm. Nope. But I'm going to find it, though. I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm going to try anyway. Let me see. Can I find it? Hmm. Oh, here it go right here. I'll tell you what kind of truck it is right now. It's a 1970 CTS slash Storm pickup with twin turbos. Yep, it's a twin turbo. It's a twin turbo truck. That's the name of it. It's on the side of it. 
There it is right there. Y'all see it? Oh, wait a minute. I'm going I'm to cue it up again. Thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my... Yeah, I see it. Beautiful truck. And it was on a, one of the episodes of his show. Y'all see it? You see, did you catch the exhaust coming through the, uh, right in front? Look at the wing. This, it was, his, this was his first time bringing it out. And he let me do a reel on it. Look at the twin turbos. Mm-hmm. Nasty. Yep. Yep. 470 likes, guys. Yeah. Hey, 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 swole. Crazy truck, man. Young cat, too. I think he was like 30. I guess him and his dad got a shop. And uh that uh let me see when I took that. That that was filmed June 3rd, 2022. Yep. 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 And he knew it was so it was so funny. He knew exactly when he saw it. That's why he asked me, "Where did you where did you film this at?" But a guy lives local. He lives in the suburb somewhere. Yep. Beautiful truck. He was in a uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, that's how that photo came about, and then I say, man, can I get a quick picture, they say, he say, sure, yep, so, actually, Dave Kendig took the picture, guys, with my phone, him and Kev Dog, and uh, I looked at my, my stuff today, and Kev Dog, like, I tagged them, I tagged both of them, and he liked it, so that was kind of, I thought that was kind of cool, but they cool people, though, man, you know, Car guy talking to another car guy, but I watch all his episodes from she probably the last three, four, about the last three years. So, but that messed me up when I actually saw that truck on a, one of the episodes on on the TV. Man, I was like, wait a minute, that's old boy truck. So I guess he took it to that car event in Nashville. That's where the event was at. It was at a, I think a drag strip or something. Mm hmm. So that's just the backstory. TD TD was right there. So if you think I'm telling the fib, he was he was right there because I told him what I was gonna do. So that's the backstory on how that photo came came about. Yep. So I thought that was kind of cool. So, but like I said, I had a I had a great time. Got to hang out with Swole. I asked TD, uh, Tucci and the fellas, CJ, all of them came through, you know, showed me some love and stuff. So, you know, then I, all my, the rest of my guys was, you know, parked right there messing with them and stuff. But it was, it's always, a, it's always a good time, but it's just a long day. That's 10 hours. And then you look at the clock, then you look up. I looked at, I looked at my watch, I think it was 1.30. I think, oh, thanks, I asked. Oh, Connor, you good. Uh, looked at my watch the first time, it was 1.30. Then I looked at it again, it was probably about 4 o'clock. And then I said, wow, time going past fast. Then I looked at it again, I think I looked at it three times, it was probably around 7.30 or something like that. I said, we ain't got much longer. But... Uh, at 9.15, then they tell everybody to come over by the DJ booth and they get awards out so they can uh, get everybody out of there. By, by I think you had to be out of there by 11. But 10 o'clock is when everybody, you know, fire up and get up out of there. But Yeah, I'm going to get, I'm actually going to get, I'm going to get that one framed. That picture of me and Kev Dog and, and, and Dave Kendrick. I'm going to get that frame. I might, one of these days, I might put it behind where old girl is. No, I ain't going to do that. But I am going to, uh, I'm going to get that one framed. That's a, that was a cool picture. And so y'all got the backstory behind it. But, uh, yes, well, that truck, 
Man, you one of these days in the summer, if you ever come out to Crestwood, you might get a chance to film it. Beautiful, I mean beautiful build, man. And like I say, guys, I get blessed a lot of times when people bring their vehicles out for the first time. They uh, actually let me, you know, do what I do. So, yeah. Because when the guy brought the Magnum, the wide body uh, Charger, I mean Challenger Magnum out, I was the first person to ever put it on film on my YouTube channel. And he didn't been a, he was at Lincoln Commons. He, he he was out in Elgin. Okay. He uh he uh that car is absolutely gorgeous. And he flipped the script because mostly everybody puts a charger front end on it with nine wide body. And he went challenger front end, Hellcat motor, Hellcat everything, with uh, you know, charger front end and wide body. Because most of the ones they not wide body, so. So, yeah, you know, like I say, you be in the right place at the right time. Sometimes you get, you know, get a, 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 a scoop on something. But I never will forget that truck. I just forgot the name of it because it's so unique. And it's a 1970. Yeah. So, yeah. So y'all, y'all got it first. The backstory on how that, how that, how that photo, how that photo came, came to be. That's. That's what happened. That's how I, I was actually able to talk to him. Yeah, no. Last year I was at the other end. Of, I was at down from where I was at. And the year before that, we were, it was a big uh, semi-trailer. Because we parked, yeah, the year before that we were there. But last year we was at the other end from where I was at. We had that corner too. The other end of were the same aisle, but we were down further last year. But it's cool. I mean, I'm always going to get me a good spot because I always get there as early as possible. Get in and get out. Yeah, people trying to go back in there and they wouldn't let them. You know, and they let they didn't let people in with their cars until 11. Hey, Sublime, you missed a good one, bro. But guys, this is the thing. They had so many cars downstairs they wasn't expecting that we didn't get exhibitors passes this year. Last year we had we got two exhibitor badges. That that take that would take you anywhere in the building. This year they said they ran out or they didn't order enough because they didn't know they was gonna put so many cars downstairs. So we didn't get them. We just got two tickets. One day tickets. We didn't even get the three day ticket. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of people mad about that. They're going to do better than that. You know, so you paying that amount of money and you're supposed to get, you know, but I, that was an error. That was their error. So I guess they're going to rectify that next year. That's what uh, Chris told me. So, yes, yeah, Sublime, you missed a goodie, man. Even if you had just came out, man, you know. So, yeah, but I hope they do because it was a lot of confusion because when I went, came from, from, yeah, it was, a, I got them on cameras. It was a GT right down from me. It was a couple of them. There's a couple of them in there. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I went to go in the World of Wheels, they was trying to take one of my tickets and I said, man, I'm an exhibitor upstairs. Nope, no 500s, though. No, nah, just a regular GT. There's a couple of GTs in there. But they tried to take my ticket, so I told the dude, hey, man, nah, you can't take my ticket, man. I said, I'm an exhibitor upstairs. My car's upstairs. So anyway, he talked to, I guess it was one of the guys, and the guy said, no, nah, just stamp his hand. He can come on in. But I heard they took somebody's ticket, but they... They wasn't supposed to let them take it. But like I said, I hope they uh, rectify that problem for next year. Because everybody was complaining. Not just me. Because every year they give you... It, it, they gave out exhibitor passes, badges, last year. And I think the year before. But they always give you a three-day ticket. 
A ticket you can use Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Nah, man, they weren't supposed to do that, I asked. Because when I after I got through filming, after I got through filming, I just walked up to the usher and told her to stamp my hand. My, my, my stamp's still right there, see? It's still there. But I told her to stamp my hand, and I still had both my tickets. So I actually, I blessed Sean with one when he, I ran into him in the walkway because I was going back to my hotel room to check out. And I blessed him with one. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. But a lot of a lot of people whose cars was in the show was complaining about that. But well, they'll work it out. They'll get it together. I mean it ain't nothing it ain't nothing major, but it was a it it was sort of an inconvenience. You know what I'm saying? So maybe next year they'll uh they'll get everything together. But I had a I had a great time. No, Sublime, no, 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 no. Hey, there goes Sean right there. Nah. I didn't win Sublime. I ain't go there for that. I just went to let people uh, see the car. You know what I'm saying? I just, I never, like, guys, I, I said this once, I'll say it again. Catfish does not trophy chase. Never in my life. I just take the car. To let everybody see what a 31-year-old driven AMG Benz looks like. Car always get a lot of love wherever it goes. So if I in the process, if I just happen to get a trophy, I have won some trophies. You know, I got I think I got 15 trophies to date since uh I think 2017. Or 2018. Because I retired in 2018. So I really, when I was working, I really didn't have time to take the car nowhere because I was always working. But I think I got uh, 15 trophies to date. I got, you know, some, some heavy hitter trophies. But, you know, it ain't even about that. The guys that won and, and my, uh, Jonathan, I think his name is Jonathan. I can't remember his name, but I know, you know, he, 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 he did his thing. So he got a beautiful car. So, you know, ain't worry about it. Do your thing. I got two guys. I got two trophies from one of the most prestigious, you know, shows in the country. I got two. So can't nobody never take them from me. And they judge my car. I didn't just walk up there and say, give me a trophy. So they'll be mine forever. That's the legacy of old girl. You know what I'm saying? But nah. Nah, just have fun. But like I said, there's a lot of stuff coming up, man. Calendar full. I brought the calendar in there today. Uh, hmm. I got... Let's see. I got some stuff. Y'all know the big showdown is in Texas on April 13th. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going or not yet. I might. And it's not out of the question. Hey, all right, Alvin. Thanks for coming through. Uh, uh, let's see. They got the CACW season opener at JJ's Detailing on the 21st of April. Then they got a motorcycle... Uh, car and bike show on the 27th in Bartlett, Illinois. Then they got the season opener for the garage store. Me and Swole went out there. Your birthday, April 13th. Okay. Um, it's the 28th of April. That's in East Dundee. And then we go to May. They got one and they got this one that Swole sent me on the 25th of May in St. Joseph, Michigan. I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna do that one. Then it's a couple of dates that I haven't heard yet. Oh guys, for you guys that don't know, mark this on your calendar. Bad Boys 4 is debuting June the 7th. I put it on my calendar because 
they might have an event like they did when uh for Fast Ten. If y'all remember, I went to the event and filmed it. What was that? See that Cam and Shane have a new location for Naptown. No, I didn't see that. It ain't going to be there no more? Oh, I don't know, man. I, oh, they're going to they gonna move it from, from uh, uh, Washington Square Mall? Okay. Mm -hmm. They do. I'll find out where it's going to be at. I still... Oh, May 19th. What's May 19th? I asked. Let me see. May 19th is what? Fairgrounds. Let me see. Oh, it's a fairground. Okay. Oh, they're going to move it to the Indianapolis Fairground. That's cool. Yeah, okay. That's fine. They'll announce it. I still got Triple F Collection. I got to get the date for Oh, I do have the date for that. Hold on. Let me tell you what it is. The link. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. They announced it, but they haven't sent out the stuff yet. Uh, yeah, the, the event four, not the dust off. What was that? Not the dust off forty car show, River Grove. Oh, okay. All cars welcome. It says I'm gonna check that out. Um, the event four. In uh, Columbus, Ohio, it was June 23rd. Rick Ross's car show, if y'all don't know, is June 1st. Um, the Clearwater Capital Foundation show on the red carpet is Saturday, June 8th. I would definitely be at that one. That was a that was fun. So, yeah, it's still, I got some stuff on my calendar. Then I got some other stuff that's coming up. But, yeah, man, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good, a good summer. For y'all that don't know, if y'all been under a rock, you know time went up last night or this morning at 3 o'clock. Originals like for Chicago. Okay, I asked. Yeah. So, we get an extra hour of daylight now. Mm-hmm. Pretty soon... At the at the at the height of it, shoot, it's gonna be, it's gonna get dark. Uh, shoot, late, real late, later on, you know, in the summer. So, if you didn't, I still gotta set the clock in uh, old girl, and I gotta set the clock in my in beauty, cause they don't they don't set themselves, you know. So, yeah. But anyway, like I said, it was. Okay, I guess I got you. If they have one at at uh at the at the um at Winter Harbor, I'm definitely going to that. That was a fun time too. That's way up there though. And you know, I drive guys. I ain't scared to put a put old girl on the highway and drive 50, 60, 100, 100 miles to a show. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing because we went to Columbus. Went to the show because the show was over early. Then turned around and came right back. So, yeah. But the one, the All European show is actually coming up too in Gilmore, Michigan. I'm definitely going to that again. Hey, Jose. Definitely going to that. Ah, that I had. I went the last two years. Had a ball. So, they announced it, but they haven't announced, they announced it, that it would, but they haven't announced the date. I'm gonna try to take my little big bro with me so he can experience uh the ambiance of seeing five major European uh brands on display in one place. Five it was five hundred and sixty-five cars there last year. And they broke their record, the previous record, by about twelve or thirteen cars. We talking 
Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, and Porsche. All in one place. I seen, like I said, I seen a couple Porsches I ain't never seen before. I seen a couple BMWs that I ain't seen. But I seen a lot of stuff when I was there. You go back and look in the uh look in the uh in my in my in my portfolio. Y'all see it. Crazy man. But yeah. That's a nice little drive. It ain't it's about I wanna say two and a half hours from me. I burned a fourth of a tank of gas coming on. <laughs> and we had the AC on running about 70 miles an hour. But yeah, let's yes, go look. I think the title is I Took Old Girl to an All European Show, something like that. They even had a concrete car there, uh, I asked. A statue made out of a car, made out of concrete. Yeah, what you talking about, Lefty? Yeah, man, but, you know, we'll see. That's a good show. They have two. They have a, another one. Because if, if you look at my Instagram, I, I took a picture of a girl. They had an old, like, 1940 Shell station on the premises. I took some pictures of a girl in front of her. That was kind of cool, too. But like I said, guys, when you go to these different shows, you get a chance to experience a lot of different stuff, man. <laughs> Fred, Fred said, what size is it in the concrete car? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, man. That car is nasty. I was blown away, man. It doesn't drive. No, it's just a statue, but it's a car. It's made out of bricks. I, didn't say, I should say concrete. It's made out of brick. It's a brick car. Crazy, man. It look good, too. Probably a three fifty, <laughs> but guys, they had a they had a pedal car room that I shot the first year I went. <laughs> Some of them pedal car. Good night, Michelle. Some of them pedal cars they had in there was crazy, man. Then y'all know I shot the old school room with all them old cars, you know that uh that some couple I had never heard of before. And I shot that too. That's also in my portfolio. If you want to go back, check that out. Check that one out too. That's a I that's a eye opener video right there. It's two brands in there that I had never ever heard of. They made cars. But they, these are cars made from like 1920 to let's say 1940 or 50. No higher than that. Some old, some real old school stuff. A small block. <laughs> what did you say, Fred? A small, a small block. But yeah, man, when I go to these places, man, I like I say, man, I a lot of these places I'm blessed, man. I get exclusive access. The you know, and the best time to do the tuna galleria is before it open, man. You can walk through, do your video right quick. No music. I thought they was going to get me, man, because some, some, somebody was sitting up in there playing that music, but I guess I was far enough away from it that uh, my, my check came back clean. So I was kind of, I, was, I, I wasn't worried about it. I would have I had to do what I had to do. But it's so, and when I was in the world of wheels, it was no music playing, not nothing. And last year when I went down there, no music playing. So that's the difference between upstairs in the Tuna Galleria and the World of Will. It was no music playing downstairs. I heard it was some yesterday somebody said, maybe in the back rooms or something, but the main floor is that pro is probably it's never no music playing. I mean, I know how to get around it, guys, but you know, it's just a headache. You know what I'm saying? You just, you just gotta put music over, it, but you know, you y'all know me. I'm a storyteller. I like to, you know, narrate and interview people and all that. But when you got music playing, you can't do it. But I ain't even do that much talking in this video, guys. I just gave y'all a, a quick walkthrough. 
Some cars that I knew about that I had talked to the owners the night before on Friday, I told you what they were, you know, what, you know, what was up with them and stuff. But uh, basically, it's just a, a quick walk through the whole, the whole, the whole show. And like I said, there was a green NSX that's covered up that I didn't even know was there because it was covered up. But I saw it during the show, but I didn't even know it was there. It was nasty. It's, it's probably going to be on some people's videos, but it was four NSXs there. A black one, the green one, and three red ones. So that's five. Let's see, black, red. Black, red, no, black, green, red. It's four. It might have been five because the Rahana boys had, they got one. Theirs is wide body. It's been on my channel before anyway. So, yeah, they got they got one too. It's wide body. No, it was five. But it was uh, the guy that won the raffle, the Rahana boys, the DJ from the Chicago Bulls, Hmm. Yeah. A black one and a green one. It was five. Five old school NSXs. So I know it was, I know it's four or five, but I almost forgot the uh the black one and the green one. So it was five. It's two red ones, a white one, a green one, and a black one. So that's five. So yeah. And uh, like I said, the the Rahana boys on my video is wide body. You know they wide body everything. They got the Liberty Walk on the McLaren. They got wide body on the uh yeah, yeah. So all they stuff, all they stuff is wide body. So look good though. That McLaren been on my channel oof, probably three, four, five times. Cause it was just on my channel at the uh auto show at the at uh Rex and them booth. The exotic car, the exotic car club, they, you know, yeah, but it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, nice, it look good. The wide body kit, pretty nice. So, yeah, but like I said, Sublime missed a good one. Everybody that didn't go, y'all missed a good show. And I don't know if they went up on parking, but the parking garage used to be $15. You know, for I think twelve hours because it's an outlet mall right across the street from the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center, and a lot of people go to the outlet mall. So that's why the park garage ain't really that high. So I don't know if they raised it or not. Oh, it's still fifteen. Wow. Hey, I tell you what, McCormick raised theirs, buddy. McCormick's is twenty five now. When me, when me and when me and Swole went to first look for charity, it was fifteen. It was twenty five. It's twenty five now at McCormick Place parking garage. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, TD. They probably won't raise it. They still making the killing anyway, because of the outlet mall being right there, and people always at that outlet mall. Oh, okay. Okay, well, you know where to park at. If you can park back there and don't pay, that's good. Any, hey, anytime you get anything free, whether it's a, 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 a pop, parking, uh, anything, anything free, it's good. It don't cost you nothing. You know, but yeah. So, I didn't know if it had went up or not. But... And then people was coming in, guys. When I was, I was fifteen back there too. Okay, TD. Uh, when I was walking down the the, the cross the the sky deck, they call it, back to the hotel, man. People was it was a lot of people. A hundred dollars. Sheesh! Wow. Yeah, they trying to discourage folks. See that, that, that kind of stuff would discourage people. Yeah, it was a very diverse crowd. People with kids, and you know. But hey, anything that you 
raised over the norm. I give y'all a perfect example. I give y'all a perfect example. The Demon 170, the new Demon just came out. You know how much it costs from the factory to put a sunroof in that thing? $2,200. They raised the regular price by $1,000 just to discourage people from putting a factory sunroof in the car. Normal price on a sunroof from a factory. You don't believe me? Go look it up. 1100 bucks. The price on a on the, to put one on your you know when you order your car twenty two hundred. That's why you're not gonna see a lot of a lot of Demon One Seventies with factory sunroofs. But I know somebody who got one with a factory sunroof. He said he don't care what the price was because he want to make his car uh, unique. That's Chris Jacobs, one of you know one of the narrators that work at the auction, Meekum Auction. He got his. He got a summer. He got everything in his. He said on his Instagram, I ain't care. I wanted a sunroof, so he got one. But that's how they discourage a lot of people from, you know, because you can get aftermarket work for that money. But if it's on your, you know, if it's on your sheet, you know, your bill sheet, you know, sunroof, but yeah, 2200 bucks. They just raised the price. So it's, a lot of things when people... Put astronaut an astronomical amount of money on something that shouldn't be that discourages people from you know from doing that. But that's crazy though. Hundred dollars in the parking garage. Oh, I wouldn't be parking in there. That's nuts. What? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So it ain't guys. You ain't gonna see too many Demon One Seventies with factory sunroofs. Because most, most people ain't going to pay that. And if you get it from the factory, it's going to be up right on your bill sheet. You know, y'all know. Yeah, but that's just an example of uh, creating a, uh, uh, um, not, not, not stop you from doing something that you would normally do monetarily wise. That's a lot of money for a sunroof. So, but I'm, I'm. I figured that's why I asked, cause the, the parking garage been fifteen dollars. Man, it's been fifteen dollars since I started going there. Back in eighteen. So they can't yeah, I, the reason being since the outlet mall is there, they keeping the price reasonable so people gonna go shopping. And I think that rate is for like uh twelve hours. Cause I think when we when we went we stayed overnight last year we stayed two nights. I think the parking in the in the ho, in the hotel was like twenty bucks or twenty two bucks or something. It wasn't bad. We only had to pay that one time. Then that cause we stayed Thursday and Friday because we thought it was gonna snow. So we took our cars out of there and then you know took them and put them in the show. So yeah, that's that's kind of unique that. It's still fifteen dollars, cause it was that back in eighteen. So I guess they they not gonna, they probably won't raise it, cause it, it would be, I'll say counterproductive, cause, I mean the people would pay if it went up to twenty five, but it'd be counter, it's kind of counterproductive, cause they know, man, I can go shopping over here for, you know, x amount of dollars and just pay fifteen dollars. What'd you say, Fred? It will be worth. <clears throat> yeah, it will be, Fred. Trust and believe. It ain't gonna be. Yeah, I mean, you can probably Google it and see how many they made. Cause even the, the 2018s didn't have. A lot of them didn't have sunroofs. If you're just buying a car just to have it, you know that's fine. You know, but most of the people that bought them to race them. They, cause, cause of the structural, the structural aspect, they didn't get sunroofs. But that's gonna make that the demon one even a even a regular twenty eighteen demon with a sunroof is rare. It makes the car, it makes the price of the car go up more because mostly everybody that ordered them didn't order them with a sunroof, and the demon one seventy gonna be even more rarer because of the price. 
But that's crazy, though. But that's just, you know, the way of the world, guys. I mean, if you if you want it, some things you want, you got to pay for. And some things you want, you got to pay a little more than the norm. That's all I'm saying. But you're right, Fred. A, a Demon 170 with a sunroof is going to be a be a high commodity item in a couple years. I don't know. I might do my research when I get out of here so I can tell y'all next uh, next Sunday how many they made with a factory sunroof. We're going to look it up. It'll tell you, you know, how many, like, like the, 2018, it could tell you. How many, how many red ones, how many black ones, how many blue ones, how many green ones, how many white ones. I think yellow is probably one of the most least, uh, you know, least ordered colors, at least in the 2018. I don't even know if they, the new ones have a yellow one. You know, Kevin Van Voorhis has a yellow one. It got totaled, but it's getting fixed right now. And he's got a 170 also. And he got the same VIN. On his uh, Demon 170 that he had that he has on his yellow one, and Demonology got the same van too that he had. Oh yeah, I understand. I mean, like I like I was telling a guy uh, at the Tuna Galleria, he said, "Is is that?" Is that is that a how many? He, he, this is what he asked me. He said, "How many times has this car been painted?" I said, "None, zero. He said, "What? It's original paint, bro." I mean, if you ever see old girl in person, you got some nicks and a little bit of stuff. Door dent, guys. I'm never taking the door dings out the car. I could go to dentless and get them all out. It's not that many, but I'm not because they get a car character. The car's 31 years old. I, I don't understand why I would do that. Because ain't no way in the hell you're going to have a 31-year-old car without a door ding in it. Come on now. It's not a restored car. It's called a survivor. I left all the door dings in it. On the passenger quarter, it was some, some stuff going on. And I got it to where, you know, it should be. But I could have painted the whole quarter if I wanted to. But I'm not. Hey, Fly Roy. Because a car is only original paint one time. Granted now. Getting the old school painted. One repaint does not hurt the value of the car. If it's painted right. But then again. A 31 year old car with original paint. And it looked like mine. Come on now. Can't make that shit up. So there you go. But yeah, he was kind of he was kind of surprised, and she was gleaming under them lights too, boy. Ooh, them lights was man. She looked like she had a little pearl in her, man. I was like, what? Yeah. But like I said, I mean, you know, everybody. I, I, I go to a lot of shows, and people ask me, why don't you go to Dentless? No, I'm not going to Dentless. I'm leaving them in there because the previous owner. Was eighty like I said was eighty three years old in two thousand six when I bought this car from. She probably has gone on to meet the Lord. Probably, most likely, because I had that seventeen years ago, and she was eighty three when I bought the car. So you know, but the thing is, it gives the car character. I'm not messing with that, man. And they, I let some people sit in it and look in it. It's like wow. You know, back then they made stuff to last. That interior is called AB Text. It is damn near indestructible. Unless you just a pig or something, you know, some it, it's almost indestructible. That's the name of the material. It's called AB Text. A B T E X. And it's almost indestructible. Even if you if you look at any old school bins, I say like from 80. I want to say 80 to like 95. All of them got the AB Tex interior. And unless they just was neglected, the interior should look just as good as mine. But you know, some of them cars sit. 
you know, and you know, whatever. But if it if it was taken care of half half by half, you know what, then it it you know, it, it'll be okay. Y'all know I got one little scratch in my seat. I almost put a hole in it from a screwdriver one day. I jumped up so fast, make your head swim, but I said, I never put nothing in my pocket again. It's one little scratch on my whole interior. I almost messed the interior up, but I was doing something. Put the dog on screwdriver in my pocket and almost, it's a little scuff, but I'm going to leave it alone. I ain't going to mess with it. But like I said, other than that, it's it's in great shape. The whole, the whole car is in great shape. But, but like I said, you got to drive them. And we had a big discussion about that at uh, at the tuna gallery. They asked me, how much do I drive the car? I say, any nice day I get them in it. If it ain't nowhere but down the block and put it back in the garage. And I told them I'd pull it out in January. What? I said, yeah, there wasn't no snow on the ground. It was cold. No salt. Pull it out. Drove it. Actually, when I remember, guys, when I took it, to get my waiver for the emissions. That was January 30th or 31st, I do believe. Hey, Curtis, what up? Yeah, I think that was January 31st, but I had driven it earlier in January. Anyway. Yeah, I had driven it earlier. So early in the month, like the 11th or something. I don't care. if it's, It can be zero. As long as it ain't no snow, no slush, or no salt on the street, I'm going to pull the car out and drive it around. But but luckily the last three years we ain't really had no bad winter. We've been blessed around here, man. Texas got some doggone snow a couple of weeks ago. That's crazy. But nah. And then they said that uh, uh February was the warmest February ever on record. Man, it's supposed to be nice around here. Uh even on Friday when it was raining, it was like 40-something, 40 45. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Let me see what let me see what, what it's going to be like around these parts. Hmm. Oh, it's 31 right now. That ain't bad. Oh, 63 tomorrow. 67 Tuesday. 62 Wednesday. And then Thursday, 51 with, with rain, back down to 44 on Friday, and 54 on Saturday. That ain't bad for March. So, there it is. The trend continues. But like I say, man, we've we been blessed around these parts. We ain't had no, we ain't had no bad winter, so. But like I said, I'm on. I still got to get uh, beauty emission tested. I think I'm going to have to change the, char the charcoal canister, which ain't no, I mean, one stop going to do it. Ain't no real big, big deal, but I'm going to have them do it. I just ordered a part, have them change it. It's got, comes with the vent valve, the uh, charcoal canister. It goes right beside the uh, gas tank on the uh, driver's side. So I'm getting an evap light, so. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change that sucker so I'll be fine. Probably this week sometime next week. Probably I probably order the part maybe this week sometime and then run it up there and have them do it. So I can get that get me get my sticker for 2 years. The rental went right on through, man. No problem. Plug that thing up. Whoop. Then I got the waiver for old old girl, so I ain't got to worry about no sticker for two years. I just got to go get it. I mean, I got my paperwork. I just got to go to the license bureau and uh, get my uh, you know get my sticker. So, but it's all good though, guys. I mean, you know, that's just life, man. You got to do stuff. But um, I make sure all my cars in mechanical condition. You know, world worthy as I call them. They might be old, but you know all my cars old. I got a '92 and two and two two thousand twos, so all of them old, but they road worthy. They run. I can get in any one of them and drive them anywhere I want, which is cool, you know. 
that's what you want to do. If it's road worthy, it's road worthy. That's all I got to say. It ain't raggedy. Got All of them got brand new tires on them. Uh, the front end is done. You know, only thing I got to get, I got to get the AC fixed in uh, the rental. My Mitsubishi cars. It had a little pinhole in it right at the end of the summer, last summer. And I'm going to take it to the guy that did the timing belt. He said he going he going he going to take care of that for me. So that got to get done pretty soon here. It's going to start getting hot. Got to have my AC. So other than that, car run good. Don't burn no oil or nothing. So It's all good. But like I said, you got to do some uh, maintenance on these cars, man. I see people with new cars tow up. Dang, did you have insurance? Well, put the car in the shop and get the dog on fender fixed or the dough fixed. Well, they still driving around, you know, leaning to the side, stretched out like this, and car looking like, damn it, I'll bite you, man. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Really? Mm-mm. If my car get hit in the driveway, I'm driving it straight to the house, park it in the back, call my insurance company, tell them hurry up and put this thing at the shop and get it fixed. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, have a long it take, I won't be driving it because when hey, the car don't ride right when it's towed up, man. I ain't gonna lie. To me, you know, it don't. My car don't ride right when it's towed up. It ride better. You know, ride better when uh, you know, when it when it's looking good and shiny and all the parts in the right place. Oh, guys, I did change the headlight. Remember, I told you I was gonna change the headlights in the rental, my Mitsubishi. I got them blue. I don't know what I was. Them blue. Them blue headlight bulbs been in there forever. I changed them. I got the uh, sixty-five uh, thousand watts. They white. Uh, fog lights included. The headlights and the fog lights came, you know, in the package. I changed them. It took me hmm, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then I cleaned the headlights again, and I cleaned the fog lights. Because I hadn't done them since I did that video, uh, what, a couple years ago on how to uh, clean, uh, you know, headlights. So I just, I just, I did it by hand. I ain't the same way I did it. You know, when I did it on, on the video, I didn't use no buffer or nothing. But I still use my, uh, hey, lawsuit, what up? Uh, I still use my aluminum polish. That's what I use on headlights. So, came out good, and I cleaned, like, the lenses on the fog lights again. So, looking good. I like them. It's, it's cool. It's cool. But I had to do that, actually... I'm going to change. I got some blue ones in in, uh, in uh, Old Girl. I'm going to change them out, too. I'm going to get the 65, uh, 100, 1,000, whatever it is. I'm going to get some of them. They go, they plug and play, too. Take the old one out, put the new one in. You know, they make the ones with the little cord on them, guys. I'm not, I'm not a fan of those because especially in Old Girl because it's a whole cover that covers up the light. And if I do that, I won't be able to cover it up. So I'm not even. I found some that just plug and play some uh, LEDs. Everything going to LED now. The HIDs are dead, you know. So I'm gonna actually uh, order me a set of those too, and change those. Be a little brighter. So I'm gonna probably do that this week and get that out of the way. But uh, the ones in uh, in beauty good, but I ordered two sets when I ordered those. I actually changed the factory ones, but it's such a pain in the butt, guys. On that on that Infinity truck, to change the uh, driver side light, you gotta take the whole air box out the car, and to change the passenger light, you gotta take the whole battery out the car. There's no way to get to the headlights. Yeah, pain in the butt. Yeah. But I I have had no and them them the ones them the real HIDs got the ballast it's factory like that so but I changed the uh the bulbs when I first got them but I ordered two sets so if one goes out I have one to replace the same you know so yeah 
So we'll see. I had no problem. I had a truck since thirteen, so I had no problems with the you know, with the bulbs or nothing, so but I do uh, got an extra set, so in case. But yeah, that's what you got to do. The uh, infant, uh, the Mitsubishi, so easy. Just blip, 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 blip. I, I was done in ten minutes. But yeah, I was done probably with the whole job in twenty. Changed the bulbs. Then I had to uh, put a little, uh, a little lubrication on the on the fog light. Cause I guess some condensation got down there, but it had a little rust on it. It wasn't bad, you know. So I put a little uh, a little lithium grease on there, plugged it in, and you know twisted it in and everything. So they went in good, cleaned them. I'm good for a while. We'll see. But I might order another set just to just to have a set because they were actually going out. They were flicker, so I was actually running with my uh, bright lights on for a minute. But they were so bad that you couldn't even tell it was a bright light. So. I was doing that. I actually was doing that too. So, but I changed them. I got them blue ones out of there. So, it's much better. I can see much better now. So, it's all good. So, yeah, that's what's going on with with that. But yeah, anytime you got, anytime I got any maintenance issues, anything I gotta do. If I if I can't do it, like stuff like changing the light bulbs and headlights, some cars are harder. Some cars, guys, I heard one of my guys tell me certain cars you gotta take the whole bumper off. I don't believe that. I believe it's a way you can get your hand up in there. You might have to take the inner fender out, which is a whole lot your fender liner, which is a whole lot easier than taking the whole damn bumper off. Man. I had a, my contour was, it was my, my contour was like that. You had to take the whole headlight out, out the car. But it wasn't that bad. You know, you had to like unscrew it and pull it out and then change the bulb. But the aiming never was messed up. But like I say, some cars is easier to change them than other cars. But Mitsubishi, easy. The truck is, uh, my SUV is harder. And the bins, I can do the bins in five minutes. Cause I'm getting plug and play. Yep. And the fog lights, the same thing. Five minutes, you just, you know, go in there and um, pop it out. There's nothing restricted it. So you know, we do what we do around here when we gotta fix cars and you know whatever. If we can't do it, we got a mechanic to do it. I don't, the guys, I don't even change brake pads. Nope, I can't change spark plugs on on old girl, but that's about it. The rest of that stuff, I did change the thermostat when it stuck open. I mean, stuck closed. I was limped at home, and then I changed that myself. But that's it's right there on top. So all you gotta do is and take the two screws off, and the hole. It's mine got a little holes on the top, and then change the gasket, throw it back on there, fill it up. You know. And I let the air get out of it and let it and get the operating temperature. And there's a little bleed thing right on the top. You take your 10 millimeter and just open it up and you see the air coming out. And want, just crack it. And once once you see straight antifreeze, you close it. You put a towel under there. You gotta If you don't bleed these, man, you mess around and mess your whole cooling system up. But, yeah, so that was easy. But other than that, I ain't doing nothing to that car. I don't do brakes. I don't do nothing. Rotors, none of that stuff. Some people, swole included, ace, they they like working on their own car. Man, I ain't got time for all of that. Man, I'm going to take it to somebody. I ain't got time to be bothered with that stuff. For real. I mean, you know, y'all see swole in his videos, man. He always doing something to Zeus or, or Liberty. You know what I'm saying? But that's him. I ain't got, nah. I guess maybe my... In my older age, I said, I, I know how to, I used to work on cars. Certain stuff that I know how to do, I'll do. But the other stuff, since I got a, since I got a, a, a sponsor, I don't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't, I don't get into that. You know, if I do, I do. But little stuff, yeah. But big stuff. Putting uh, fan belts and I don't know how to do all that stuff. 
Don't want to know. I got I got a mechanic for that. Uh, yeah, but like I say, man, it's it's just you just gotta do stuff the way you you know the way you gotta do it. But like once again, guys, I had a ball at the tuna gallery and the and the the uh, the cherry on top was meeting Dave Kendig and Kev Dog. I ain't one of a kind. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. You know, you one of my OG, OG supporters, man. But like I said, that was the highlight for me. And the way it went down, that's what I'm saying. That was kind of cool, you know. And who knows? I probably would have got a picture if I just asked him. But when you, you know, relating to somebody, caught one car guy to another car guy. And, he, and like I said, he actually knew exactly what, you know, what I was showing him. So, you know, hey, it's all good. But like I say, man, you got to, sometimes you got to do, do it that way. You know, CJ was, CJ was taking pictures with a lot of people too, man. A lot of people. I saw his video. But... I've had people come up to me and uh, ask me, could they take a picture of me? I take a picture with them. No big deal. It was a picture. I was letting little kids sit in the car and, you know, a couple of older uh, older people wanted to sit in it. They still couldn't believe that that interior is original. Never been touched. All the wood is, all the wood trim is real wood. It's still in great shape, you know. But like I said, guys, I was blessed to be able to get that car 17 years ago. I think uh, this year would be 18 years. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, July 7th would be 18 years that I had it. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little I'm gonna do a little uh, homework when I get off of here. I'm gonna put it on my cheat sheet. I'm gonna tell you how many miles I put on that car since 2006. I really want to know now since I'm talking about it. I'm I'm gonna see from then till whatever the odometer reads. I'm gonna put the date that I do it and let y'all know. It's, it's, I think I put. Nope, I ain't put. I ain't put a hundred thousand on it yet, on my own. I haven't put a hundred thousand miles on them of my own yet. The car. I ain't talking about the engine. I haven't put a hundred. It's coming up. It's coming up. I probably won't do it this year, but it's probably. Ugh, I want to say in the seventy thousand range, maybe since uh two thousand. Six, but you got to realize, guys, I was working from 2006 to 2018, so I really wasn't putting a lot of miles on the car. The car was sitting, and like I said, once I retired, tell you what, first 18, that's when the miles start going up because I, I, because in the summer, because I'd be driving that thing, but th that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to enjoy your car as much as you can and enjoy your life. As much as you can. Because guess what? You can't take it with you. Can't take nothing with you. So, like I said, man. You got a nice car. Drive it. Enjoy it. You know. Because, like I said. Tomorrow ain't promised. Yesterday is a mystery. I mean, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. So, got to do what you got to do. All right, Fred. Good night. I'm okay, hey, man. I'm gonna call you this week, Monday or Tuesday. All right, all right. Yeah, guys. I'm all, I, matter of fact, let me get up out of here myself. I'm trying to get up out of here. Uh, like I always say in closing, my 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 live. Be nice to everybody, even though they ain't nice to you, because in the end, he'll understand. And check on your people. If it's somebody. That if the Lord put their name on your mind, call them. See how they doing. Check on them. And if you got a beef with somebody, squash it. Because guess what? You'll feel a lot better. You know what I'm saying? 
it'll be like a weight lifted off your shoulders. You know? With that being said, man, good night, Angela. Guys, I had a great time at the Tuna Gallery. AD, good night. Had a great time at the Doggone Tuna Gallery, man. Had a blast. So, once again, next year we're going to do it again. We got a lot of other stuff coming up. Uh, I got to get back to my dealerships. I'm um, going to start doing that this week, even though it's getting warm. All right, Connor. Oh, uh, I got to do that, which I'm going to start doing that. But I definitely got to go to Chicago Motor Cars because they got some heat up in there that I want y'all to see. So I'm going to try to do that this week, and I'm going to try to get back by. All right, Swole. All right, Bage. I'm going to try to get back by Diamond, uh, Diamond Motor Works, too. All right, Timothy Fisher, this week. They, his, 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 his car turnover is, is crazy, man. He got some heat over there, too. Y'all, you know, I've been there about four or five times. But I think I'm going to go back over there and shoot a quick little 20-minute video on the new stuff or whatever. All right, guys. I'm going to get up out of here. And like I always say, just like that, this video is over. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Same bad time, same bad channel. All right, Fred. Peace.